Hi guys, so this morning I went to grocery shopping at Costco and Walmart and I figured why don't I just show you guys what I got. So this is what this video is going to be about. If this is your first time, welcome. And if you're somebody who has already watched some of our videos, I wanna say thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart for watching our videos and you know giving us input in all the comments and us reaching 100 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for all that. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you what one month worth of groceries looks like for our family from Costco and Walmart. So it's going to be, I'm gonna keep it as short as I can, as short as I can but there's a lot of food. So, and then at the end, I'll tell you, tally, uh, I have the receipts on my phone, so I'll tell you exactly how much I spent for a month. So everything you're gonna see basically is going to be for uh, a full month, except, you know, here and there, we gotta go and get some milk and definitely get milk, because I go through a bag a day, and then we always have to go and go and get a little bit more like fruit and sometimes juice, so. With no further ado, here I go. So, okay, here's the eggs. So I normally get the 30 pack of eggs and there are seven packs. I got seven because I have an extra one inside of the fridge. So I normally get eight. Uh, we do go through that many. We have it for breakfast. We have it for baking and whatever else the kids decide. Don't mind my daughter's foot over there. <laughs> and then here we go. So we have juice now. So I got two, four, six, eight, 10, 11. Oh, odd number. Why did I get an odd number? 11 boxes of Fruitopia and Minute Maid juices. And then I got three, six, mm, 10, 11. Okay, so I got like, oh my, I got a lot this time. I just don't want to run out of juice because basically they drink juice at dinner. They're not allowed to drink juice any other time. So we've got, because I can't, I don't even know how much there are. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. I still drink. 8 times 3 is what, 24? Okay. So we have like 29 cans of frozen juice. Mind you, it, this all seems like a lot of juice. But if you think about it, I use 3 cans every time they drink at dinner time. So it's really not that much. They normally drink mostly water during the day because they're not allowed to drink juice. So juice is for dinner. Then we have uh, the Oasis 24 pack of juice and we have a 40 pack of the Rougemont juice boxes. So these are from Costco. And uh, I also these ones I get from Walmart. So I have uh, Havarti cheese and this, I love this cheese, the kids love it. Uh, I got three bags of milk. Of course, I, I go through a bag of milk a day, but honestly, I can't buy 30 bags of milk and fit in my fridge. So we get three bags and then he'll go back out. Dave will go back out and get it. I've got a box of uh, Earth's own oat milk. My daughter, my daughter loves oat milk. Just grab it. My daughter loves oat milk. She always uses it for her um, smoothies and stuff like that. So I normally get that for her. I've got three of the uh, Igo Nano yogurts. So this, I normally let the babies drink because it's less mess. When I give them yogurt, it's a disaster. And I not don't wanna really sit there and feed them yogurt so the babies can drink their yogurt. Works out for me. I got a double pack of cream cheese from um, also Costco because my kids love cream cheese. And then over here, I have a 10 kilo bag of flour. That is for bread and for cooking. I would have gotten two. I was gonna get two, but then I thought my mother-in-law just bought me flour, so I didn't need to get that much this time. We have a box of, sorry for the lighting, Fruit Loops, and we have a box of Rice Krispie Square, Rice Krispies cereal. These are the jumbo packs. I get these also from Costco because these are going to be my, these are, we're trying to cut out cereal, sugar, cereal. So these cereals are basically Sundays when I do my, you know, getting ready, trying to get out of the house for church at 
seven thirty in the morning, you know, it's eight o'clock in the morning. So this is this is what I normally give them: cereals, fast, easy. I don't have to worry about anything. And then we have a seventy-two box of Eggos, also from Costco. I have one, two, three boxes of blueberry Eggo waffles. These are the sixteen count. I normally get the, I think it's forty-eight count because they 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 like the original, but they love the blueberry. But it only comes in forty-eight. They didn't have it, so I bought three boxes. Okay, so today I had to really stock up. I ran out of everything, so I just got some uh, Kirkland black pepper. I got some uh, California garlic and some ground cinnamon because my daughter loves to bake. I got some salt and some oregano. And then I also got um, chocolate milk. My kids have chocolate milk, but this is definitely a treat. They do not get this often. I got two of those. Uh, this this fake champagne that you see, I got at, uh, it's for my husband and I anniversary. It's coming up on the 31st, so I figured I would just get it right now. I got uh, two packs of the, um, what is it, like white sliced mushrooms, and I got a pack of my favorite mini Bella mushrooms. And I got these from Co this from Costco, and I got these from Walmart. Also, okay, so we're still going with vegetables. So I got two heads of kale. I've got two heads of kale, uh, and I've got a uh, parsley. The kale is mostly kids don't love it. So if I put it in the juice, or if I put it, I'll put it in the uh, soup, which is I'm excited about that soup coming up. And then I got this bag, oh, this bag of sweet potato. It's, uh, how much is this? Anyways, it's a big bag of potatoes, sweet potatoes. But if anyone has ever gone to buy single potatoes, sweet potatoes, I should say, they are expensive, like more than a dollar or so each. So I buy it in the bag and it makes more sense to me. I've got a bag of celery that the kids will eat with, um, Salad dressing. I've got a bag of six pack of uh, lettuce, romaine lettuce from Costco. Also, a pack of Brussels sprouts. This is this is one that I just kind of like. I blanch it really, really quickly. Then I saute it with like garlic powder, onion powder, and uh, the kids absolutely love it with some hot pepper. I got some green onion. Uh, then I got some oregano, which I, oregano, which I do need for, uh, my pasta sauce. I got arugula. I love arugula. It's so bitter. It tastes so good. It tastes really good in, uh, chick, what do we do it with? Lentils. I also like, uh, to get a spring mix for a quick salad if I need one. I've got two packs. Oh, don't mind the candy. I've got two packs. Two packs of uh, spinach here. Um, I also got two bags of onions, which should last me. Some avocado, which will be gone in two seconds because literally all my kids love avocados. It's so annoying. Um, I got, sorry, the lighting. Okay, I got a bag of, oh, so bright. I can't do anything about it. I got a container of tomatoes, two packs of red pepper, green pepper, and well, two red pepper. So I got four bags of potatoes, two yellow and two red. And what I'm, this should last me the whole month. Should, should. <laughs> I got a Parmesan shredded cheese for pasta if they want some. I picked up some uh, turmeric capsules from Costco. I also got garlic. I hate buying garlic like this because it takes too much time. I just hate it. I know it probably costs more when I buy it in the jar, but it's already peeled and it's just so much faster and easier than peeling garlic. Um, I got some cucumber and I got some tiny little baby zucchinis, three of them, two cabbages, the kids like steamed cabbage, or I might um, actually put it in a coleslaw, depending. So for frozen vegetables, 
I've got two big bags from Costco of broccoli because my kids love broccoli. Like they love it. Uh, I normally just steam it and then put some onion powder, garlic powder, pepper, salt. But they love how it tastes, so that's good for me. I've also gotten some frozen uh, Asian style corn, some more broccoli. I normally use these when the fresh vegetables are done, then I move on to the frozen because then, you know, it's easier to do it that way. I got some uh, cauliflower rice, but that's mine. And then I have some two packs of the Cavendish fries, the flavor fries. The kids love this for lunch. These ones have so much taste. We bought a different one from Costco the other day and it was so gross. The kids are like, ew. So I went back to this. I got a 30 pack of uh, original pogo sticks and a 30 pack of the pizza pots. Not the healthiest, but it's okay. Once in a while. I got uh, pistachios because the kids love to snack on pistachios. This is also from Costco. I got some cashews. Costco again, Kirkland. Uh, two pack of ketchup from Costco. I got these sausage brown patties that the kids absolutely love um, for breakfast. And then I got some nuggets there. Uh, these are good. And then I got some chicken strips from Jane's. These are the whole wheat ones. I don't know. <laughs> they make a difference to us, but I got also my husband loves these. These are uh, the spinach, feta, parmesan, and the fetal pastry. And it beats trying to roll these up and do them myself. So I got a pack of that for my husband. And I'm sure my kids will eat it too for snack because we don't like to use the popcorn that's in the the artificial, really gross butter. I got the Orville Rennebacher seeds, so some of them will have it with just butter and salt. Some will have it with sprinkled Parmesan and some rosemary on it. Tastes really good. Uh, as a snack, one of my snacks are the Soft and Chewy 64 um, pack of the granola bars. I got uh, the Kirkland Extra Virgin Olive Oil 3 liters. I would have gotten more, but I have so much olive oil downstairs, so I didn't really need to buy it. I just like to have extra things. Got a pack of golden yellow sugar. Trying to get out of the sugar. I need something different, but for now, this is what I got. Uh, I got the kids uh, two things of maple syrup. I got the honey, and I got four butters. Probably not enough. Probably gonna need more butter before the end, especially with the baking and everything. Ziploc freezer bags. This is what I use to separate my meat when I'm ready. I got um, Dempster's tortilla. Kids love to make eggs and roll it with some cheese. And so I did that with, did I talk about the cheese? Oh, crap. And the um, other tortilla. I got two packs of that. I, uh, I think I forgot to tell you about the cheese. If I didn't, then I'll edit this part out. But I got, I don't even think I mentioned the yogurt. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So. I got these two packs of Activia yogurt. That's for the older kids. They can eat these ones. The younger kids eat that one. Those ones because I don't want to have to deal with that mess. And these cheeses, I got two packs. We go through cheese like crazy in this house. And I also got a pack of cheese strings. I get the front maple French toast and I get uh, the sesame. And then my other daughter loves the four cheese bagels. I also got three packs of English muffins for breakfast or for whatever they want to do it for. Uh, these are these are Walmart too, three for six dollars. So I always get that; it just works out really well. Uh, I got my yeast. I get the uh, quick quickwise instant yeast, and also the traditional yeast. I thought I ordered two. Anyways, okay, okay, and then I got. Evaporated milk because who can drink tea without evaporated milk? I also got um, a double pack, a double pack of tandoori naan bread, garlic because my husband loves that, and some chickpeas or some chicken can chicken tuna or stuff like that. Not tuna, sorry, chicken. You eat it with that. Um, okay, let me go over to the fruits. So my kids love fruits grapes especially so i got 
two packs of the uh, red grapes from Costco, a pack of green grapes. I got a pack of plums for them. These are all from Costco. Uh, I got two packs of strawberries. Two packs of strawberries from um, Costco as well. A pack of two packs of blackberries. A pack of raspberries. And I got a pack of blueberries. I got a bag of the seedless, um, seedless pink grapefruit. Two bags of oh boy, these are um, I think these are six pound bags of apples. Two of them, but they'll be done in like no time. And I got a, uh, I think this is a, well, how many pounds is this one? I don't know. Anyways, a heavy bag of grapefruits. I got a pack of I got a pack of tangerines. I can never tell the difference. Tangerines, clementines, some lime, some lemon, a whole lot of bananas because my son is, he loves his banana. Can you move the dog? I just realized she's making so much noise. Was she making noise all the time? Ivy. No, or if she's going to quiet, yeah, as long as she's not in my way. So I don't want to step on her. Okay, so we have a lot of bananas. And then I have some frozen mangoes from uh, Costco. Some frozen strawberries from Costco. Frozen three of them. And, and dark pink cherries. My daughter uses those for all of her smoothie needs. And also, you could put them on oatmeal and stuff like that. When the fresh fruits run out, you have these frozen ones. I have four cases of water, which will be done in like by tomorrow. And then I normally get two bags of rice because one bag is just not enough. For the meat, I got this three pack of Kirkland uh, whole chickens, which is awesome. Although I'm still gonna have these maybe too. But these are really great. Like if you wanna make a stock after, after you cook your chicken and all the meats off of it, I just freeze the bones, like the carcass of the chicken, and then I use that in my soup, which I'm going to be using. I got beef. So Sundays is our special meat day, and I got beef for the Sundays. Um, this one is from, also from Costco. I got pork chops for one day, which is not a lot, but I'll probably cut it up and saute it. I got some chicken wings, which is really good at Costco. I find the price good. One pack. And I got four packs of, oh boy, four packs of the Costco chicken legs. Roughly like $17, $18 a pack. I got four packs of those because one pack will serve me twice. So I um that's like eight dinners right there. And then I got the steak. I don't buy steak normally. I do not. But this is for my husband and my anniversary that's coming up. So I'm going to make steak for him. I got two packs of the ground beef. Now, the ground beef, I got two. It's $21 a pack. I got that from Costco as well. But one pack will last me, I can, when I separate my meat after this video, six times perhaps, six times I can get out of each pack. So that's like 12 dinners right here. And I already still have meat in my freezer. I promised them a little treat this week. So I bought four packs of bacon from Costco. We don't buy bacon all the time. I think this pack is like $17. So we really don't buy it all the time, but I promised them a little treat. I'm trying to do seafood more often, so I got this pack of uh, raw shrimp from Costco. It's 970 gram, 50 to 70 shrimp. Well, we'll see. And then I got a pack of scallops for the um, another seafood. We'll see. I also bought vinegar because I can't do without vinegar from Costco. Two bottles, two bottles come in it. Just for reference, I bought some dog food, some cat litter for the doggy and the kitty. I, okay, so mac and cheese. Don't eat all the time, but it comes in handy on those days. So I have it. Uh, now this is more like my treat table. So uh, the kids get sweet snack every Friday. Sometimes once or once in between the week, but Fridays is their sweet snack. So that's what these are for. We normally use the fruit more for like during the week it's supposed to be, 
Boys love Paw Patrol, so I got a box of uh, Paw Patrol cookies for them to keep them quiet if I need to on a drive or if they're just being fussy. Uh, five cans of condensed milk, because I want to try this condensed milk bread. And sometimes they use it in the Rice Krispie cereal, and it's awesome. I've got one, two, three, six, eight bags of pasta uh, from Walmart. This should last me. There's the mayonnaise. I got two um, Diana sauces. And then I got, I always get uh, the Knorr chicken soup bouillon, cube bouillon, bouillon, how do you say that? Bouillon, bouillon packages. Um, because, okay, so the kit, I use it in my rice. So I don't, I'm not a gravy person all the time. So my rice, I don't like when it tastes bland. So I put a cube in my rice before I start, I make it. And then I'll stir it up, taste for salt. And if I need to add salt, I'll add salt to it. Um, it tastes really good in rice. I do um, two jams peanut, uh, for peanut butter and jam. So they normally use the strawberry jam for their peanut butter. And then they use the apricot jam when they're doing it on their um, crackers. I bought a peanut butter because I have like 20 peanut butters downstairs. I've got uh, vanilla from, um, oh, there's my other, there it is. I just found my other um, yeast. Okay, and I also got coconut milk. Uh, and I got pigeon peas. Because I'm going to attempt to make rice and peas this week. We'll see how that goes. I also, my kids are tuna, tuna people, really. So I got the, oh, why is the lighting so bad? I got the chicken breast from uh, Costco. They have the six pack. And I got that. My children love garlic pickles so we got that there's the salad dressing for salad got two of those and for vegetables if they want it i got a pack of raisins because i normally buy raisin bread but because i'm making i i want to try to make my own raisin bread so i'm i got that i got three cans of lentils i got three cans of lentils i got some baking powder because i ran out i also got this festival mix i know it's it's really lazy but it tastes so good and it's easy so i got three packs to make festivals uh along with just uh some holiday sauce for my husband's ooh, for my husband's um eggs when he wants some and i got cock soup mix for my I got cock soup mix for my spicy for my soup that I'm going to make this week with the chicken carcasses, some chili powder mix, um, wet ones for the babes. This is a three pack from Walmart. I also got uh, three packs of Nutri-Green. The kids love Nutri-Green bars. Well, two of them. So I got Nutri-Green. I got two of these bags of the chips packs, the variety packs from Walmart for a snack day and because we're trying to cut out all that horrible like the not horrible but the packaged oatmeal i'm trying to like you know trying the breakfast first to make it a little bit better for the kids to eat i got the quick cooking uh steel cut oats for them a box i have four packs of pancake mix and i think i have like four in the pantry downstairs so ridiculous i have um Fruit by the foot for snacks and fruit snacks. Paw Patrol fruit snacks. The boys love their Paw Patrol. So I got three of those. And I got my treat. This is mine. I'm sure they're going to all ask me. Oops. I'm sure they're all going to ask me for it. But I got the Chicago Mix popcorn from Costco. It's so good. And I can't wait to eat it tonight when I'm watching TV. Then I have uh, two boxes of the original Ritz and two boxes of the cheese ribs. I have a box of premium crackers. I normally use the unsalted crackers uh, for, you know, the jam or cheese. Um, my aunt taught me that um, this thing where they would put crackers and milk and condensed milk in the uh, microwave, in a microwavable dish and layered, and it would be like the most gorgeous thing in the world. So I like to try that sometimes. 
And I like to make that sometimes. And then I have whole peeled tomatoes. These are the big cans from Costco. I bought three of them. And the reason I bought them is because I normally use those for pasta, like when I have a meatless pasta day. So I'll put them in the pot and let it stew with some olive oil and basil. My aunt taught me that recipe. Basil, oregano, parsley, and let it stew for like hours. And it just comes down to like the best thing ever. But on the quick days, I have the thick and rich spicy red pepper and chili pasta sauce. There's four. I normally buy more than four. I have like, I don't even know how many downstairs. So I didn't need to pick up that many. Oops. And then there is the Nutella that they love so much. I also got two, two of the cookie dough, uh, baking cookies as they call it. And some chips ahoy cookies and a pack of Oreos. That's their snack. Also my snack, how did I forget is I love sweet plantain chips. I mix the sweet plantain chips and I eat it with some salty nuts and together it's just like, mm, goodness. So, sorry I talk about this about food, but I love me some food. Get in my belly! And I got a bag of raisins because the raisins, I'm gonna, I always buy raisin bread. I love raisin bread. Me and my daughter love to make raisin bread with cheese on top. But the problem is that uh, it's, such a small bag like raisin bread is so small and they're so small low uh like the slices are so small so i'm gonna try to conquer raisin bread this week and make some for myself hopefully <laughs> hopefully it works out uh what else do i have left oh yeah okay so we have two bags of toilet paper 40 rolls from costco i have to buy two if i don't i'm gonna run out um and then i have the paper towel. That's a 12 roll, 160 sheets per roll. So, I mean, if the kids don't use it for everything else, then it should be good. I think I have everything. I think. So that is my grocery haul for a month. Uh, yeah, I know it's a lot, but I'm going to, um, get the amount that it costs and I'll be right back. One minute, man. <laughs> so Costco was 1074 and Walmart is 664. So that's basically letting you know. I mean, my budget's normally about 15, but I think because I ran out of every, a lot of things this month, that's why it came up to more than what I normally do. So with that said, Thank you guys for watching this video and I hope this was helpful or gave you a little bit of insight on how much groceries it is to feed 15 people for four. What is wrong with me? So I hope this video was helpful and gave you some insight into how much food it is to feed 14 people. Uh, so until next time, I'm going to say bye now and don't forget to like, subscribe and get notified. See you next time.